Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you an application that I made uh, which will allow you to calculate or let's say to predict the weight of a gem before you cut it just given the size and some other parameters that you can get uh, out of a, a cutting diagram. The first thing you have to do is to get yourself something like this. This is a cutting diagram. You either get it online or otherwise you can also build yourself with a uh, gem cut. And, um, and then I'll show you how to use this diagram with the application I made in the internet. Let's see how. Okay, this is the diagram. This is a design, a gem design I did on um, a build up on, on GemCAD. Um, before passing to the specs, I'll show you. You see this all the, the radians, the grade, the degrees to put on the facet joint and the radians. And okay, the cutting remarks. And then you got here, you got length, width, and then the pavilion height and the crown height, which are very important for this thing that I'm going to explain to you now. All right, so this is the name of a cut I did, angles for refractive ingots so or 162, which is a tourmaline. This is the numbers of the facets in the design equals to 61 facets. Two-fold radial symmetry, okay. 96 index is the standard for the facet, for example. This is the ratio between length and width. It's one, so it means that since it's round, the width is just a sec exactly like the length. Table on the width is 0 0.4488. P on W, since pavilion depth on the width is point. 0.416 crown size the depth of the crown on the pavilion width I mean I'm sorry the, the depth of the crown on the width of a stone is 0.176 and this is the important one I wanted to show you today is the volume on on the uh, width cubed is 0.224 that means that this stone will be a cube. The volume divided by the width will be 1. But since there is this missing parts compared to a, to a cube, then the volume is not 1, it's point, 0 0.224. Okay, this is going to help us to figure out before you cut any gemstone, if you want to apply this cut to the gemstone you selected, what would be the final weight? And we're going to do it on my application on my website. I'll show you how. This is the application and the gem weight calculator. It's on my website. In the description you will find the direct link, so don't worry about it. Here we got material. You can choose any material you wish. You can scroll down. For example, let's say that I got uh, corundum. No, we, that cut we are show you is for, for a tourmaline. So let's go tourmaline. We go uh, with a width of maybe 10 millimeters. We punch in the volume on on the width uh, cubed, which was 0 0.224, and automatically you got the expected weight in carats, 3.472. So it means that if I would have a tourmaline to cut in the way that I show you with the size of 10 millimeters width it will weigh 3.4472 it will be another material but with the same cut you can also select change the, the selection here kunzite 3.5 see um i don't know barrel maybe an aquamarine but cut with the same way it will weigh three carats um let's see a diamond cut like that it will be 3.9 uh, i find it very useful so that's it for today i hope it's going to be useful for you guys um see you next time god bless you thank you for watching bye bye